Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today I've just wanted to, it's, I just want to talk to you guys because I haven't actually done a direct video on this, I don't think, and it's quite an upsetting topic for me anyway. Um, and it's all about my YouTube channel, about the strike I received a couple of months back, and like today something happened, and they kind of just got it fucked up, and I just kind of feel like I might give up, in a way, you know how shitty YouTube is. Now, if you don't know about it already, I will go over it. I've got two different scenes, so I can show you um, my... I'm going to show you my um, YouTube um, thing and why I've got the strike and stuff. So, generally, um, I'll go to it now. Generally, um, in July the 2nd, um, this year, I'll show you the video itself. Oh, no, it wasn't... I, I'll just show you the strike first. On July the 2nd, um, I received a copyright... Well, a, not a copyright strike, a community guideline strike, as you can see here. And it was for this video and I can actually show you that video, I'm going to show you it now but I'll just talk about the strike first, it was on the July the 2nd, that's when I got it and it was flagged, does it actually tell me why, you know, it just said apparently because apparently I went against the guidelines and I couldn't appeal for it because for any YouTuber, you know, you have to agree with me here if you receive, if you see something like this after never having anything wrong with your channel you just delete it because you think, oh, hopefully that will resolve it or like, okay, I've learned my lesson, I'll delete the video but I did that and you know, obviously it makes sense now to appeal for it, you, you can't delete the video. And so what this did is it removed a lot of my features. I'll go into that later, but I just want to show you the video. Because obviously YouTube, how it runs now, I can't contact them directly. You have to have around, I think, I can't remember, but you basically have to be a massive time YouTuber to even be able to have proper support from them. So basically I'm all alone as such on that front. And this is the video, I'm going to show you it, I'm just going to be up front with it, and I want to see what you guys think of it, really. It was an Xbox Live video. Um, I should still have it here, actually. Um, not Xbox Run, Xbox Live. And I was just show it was a detailed tutorial showing you guys how you can get free Xbox Live. I'm not going to put the volume on, I'm just going to show you it. So basically, this video, it was when the Skittles promotion was on. And if you don't know what that was, basically, it's when if you buy Skittles or something like that, you have a code, you can enter it, and you basically get two, two like one week free. You can see right here, like, free one week gold trial. So it was all legit, it wasn't a scam or anything like that, it was actual proper promotion by Skittles itself, which is a massive trademark. And, you know, if I just skip through bits of the video... Oh, that's my badge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Always happens. And it's not plugged in. Hold on, sorry about this. But as you can see from the video, I was literally just telling you guys how you can register it, how it works, because it was a very hard thing to register. I was telling you guys how you can do that. And, you know, the emails and all that as well. So I was generally just showing a detailed tutorial, and the main thing here which I got annoyed about is that it wasn't a scam. You know, I never, I would never do that in the first place, because I know that's what happens. But it was literally a genuine video by Skittles, you know, it was showing you how to do it, and I got a strike for it, and I think it's ridiculous. I think the only reason why I could actually say to myself why I'd get a strike for that is because it maybe had been a misleading title, or spammy title, but it wasn't. Because all it was, was um, how to get free Xbox Live 2014 July... July um, detailed tutorial and I just, if we look at what this is the community guidelines and this is what it says these are the things that you'd get um, from so pornography sexual obviously it wasn't a sexual video bad stuff animal abuse drug abuse obviously it wasn't that it was nothing to do with violence or graphics it wasn't a shock site anything gross it wasn't copyrighted at all because it was you know it was how can it be copyright and the music I think I did use music, but as I always do, if you check any of my videos, it always look just to show you again. Just to show you, that's another thing. Um, I I just want to I want to prove my case right in this video. Every single video I do which has music in, I always always use as much credit as I can give because I only, I think it's fair to the actual creator of the music that they get the credit they deserve because you know I haven't made the music they have, and I think it's just abiding my YouTube. So obviously now my internet is not there, so let me just connect to my network. Okay, create a studio, video manager. Okay, we'll, we'll just take Geometry Josh. That's what, that, that video was uploaded a couple of days ago, so that's the latest one. And if we go into it, if it's... Oh my god, it's so slow. <sighs> okay. Um, Sorry, my YouTube's messed up at the moment. As you can see, we have all this general stuff. The music. We have what it comes from. We have the developer. We have the link to the actual game. You know, because it wasn't a proper direct one. I put the whole thing how I... Just to let them know, I increased the pitch. You know, so it wasn't the exact same song and everything like that. I do that for a lot and I put the links and everything on it. So I'm not like one who just uploads it with any random music. So we carry on. Free speech and a friend, but we don't permit hate speech. It wasn't a hate speech. 
threat harassments, it wasn't, spam, misleading descriptions, it wasn't, it wasn't any misleading tags, titles, thumbnails, I can show you the thumbnail as well, I think I did, I made a thumbnail, I can, should still be here, I don't know whether, I think it'd be an X, be at the bottom, here we go, this was the, um, the thingy, free Xbox Live, that's not really misleading because it was free Xbox Live and look, free one week trial, so how is that misleading? So that's that, um, we enforce it, so video reviews are flagged 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So that, that that's all they have. That is the main things about crossing the line. That when you should get a strike. And what is mine on? That's what annoys me so much. It, it isn't even a proper strike. I it's just That's what upsets me. So that's that strike in general. I better not go over my limit now because I won't be able to play this video. Um, what am I on? Okay, I think I'm fine. So that was that strike. And obviously I couldn't appeal for it. And because I really deleted the video. And because of YouTube, you basically have to be a full big time YouTuber. Because the thing about YouTube is, as well, any small channels like myself, they don't give a shit about it. I and, mean, you know, they'll, they'll take it all out on the small channels, because they know all these big channels, all, they break so many rules, and I've seen it myself. Like, I saw, I don't know how, I saw a Russian channel, it had like 200,000 subs, uh, no, views on a video, and in the background music, it was using a pop song. I fully, you know, no change in pitch or anything, it was a pop song. And it's like, what? And, you know, small YouTubers, they just get picked on, because they know, like, the big ones, so they had gone, no one would watch YouTube, they'd lose money, they'd lose revenue, all the sponsors and all the advertisements would go down. It's just for that reason. But anyway, that's that, and things to go with that is, I actually did not lose my monetization, but, if we go on um, my, just videos, for some reason, even though I didn't actually lose my feature to monetize, it, it's pretty useless, because every video I upload, uh, it makes me submit proof, and then I have to do this. Not monetize, click to provide proof of commercial use rights. So, as you can see, all these videos, whenever I do click proof, it says monitoring for possible review. And so, that's been there for months. And just to show you, if you don't, if you don't believe me, I'll go back to the date where I had that strike and see the difference. Okay, that's, okay, this is just before the strike. This is April. Look at all them. All the dollar signs, which basically means it's monetized. No problem at all. And there's a range of content there. You know, Minecraft, general, like, videos like this, Pokemon, all that, all monetized, just as I uploaded it. Um, check now, it should be number three. Uh, yep, okay, this is it. It's all good, all monetized. As soon as it gets to July the 2nd, though, after that date, July the 3rd, monitoring for possible review. I, I, I submit that on the day, you know, to provide proof, and look, they're still on monitoring for possible review. They take it out on small YouTubers, and yet they don't even bother to look at their videos, you know? So that's screwed. And then recently, in the past few days, every time I've been uploading a video, it's been um, it's been saying video. Re this is what it's been saying exceeds maximum length. But on my video tab, I can actually activate the video. But now today, I was uploading this video as you you, you probably just saw. I was uploading. It was a Super Mario Galaxy custom map, and there was no look, as you see, there's no activate video, and it was rejected. And now, I, I'm not sure if this is always here, but now I don't, I've lost my feature to upload longer videos than 15 minutes. So, what the hell am I meant to do? You know, 15 minutes is a very short amount of time. Okay, this was 17, but it's a very small limit, and one second over that, and it rejects it like that. And what's the point? So, I've lost my feature, to, I lost basically my priority to monetize, which I wasn't, you know, I don't care that much about at the moment. I just wanted to build up a fan base, but now I've lost that, and I've lost my, um my length video, you know, longer lengths, longer videos. So, until January, which isn't that long now, you know, because I had it in July, but still, I've seen many people say on that how they've had it, and it hasn't gone for, like, years. So, what the fuck am I meant to do? <sighs> I don't know what to do, really, because I just don't. <laughs> it's upsetting, because I do love doing YouTube, but, you know, when I first got the strike, I got really upset, and I could t I could take it out of my head that, you know, okay, I can't monetize, that's, that's fine. But now I'm just getting hit, I'm getting, like, squeezed into this corner more and more by YouTube, and I don't know what the hell I'm meant to do. I just, you know, I, if I can't if I can't upload longer than 15 minutes, that doesn't even make a proper video in my mind. Like, okay, it does, but that's already a thing. I can't monetize without getting that, and I just don't know what to do. It really pisses me off, because YouTube are shit, and I'll say on going, because well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> But they are shit. I mean, everyone talks about them being shit. You know? I know they're big, so, you know, obviously, it, only, it, it does make some sort of sense in some person's eyes that, okay, it should only be the big channels who get support. But what fair is that? If they don't get any of this shit, and I get all this shit, or, or YouTube, okay, small YouTubers get it. Some big ones do get it, I will admit. And I've seen them, and they've been pissed off as well, for the right reasons, because they've been the same shit as me. But it just doesn't make sense. 
and there's nothing I can do about it. You, you post on the forums, okay, I know it's the forums, but what you get is these chicken shit moderators, as they call them, and they just think, oh, you have to file a complaint, or well, then you go on law. Do you really think people, like, YouTube age, do you think people are going to go to court on it for something shit, like, which wasn't even people's fault? You know, it pisses me off. There's nothing I can do now. And it's magically, YouTube see this video of 10 views and thinks, oh, you know what, we were wrong about this dude, but whatever, we'll remove this, <laughs> you know, it's not going to happen. The miracle would be that it does, like, this video gains views and it, it's like more of a campaign and it removes it, but you know. I made it, I just wanted to make it because after seeing this strike thing, it's done. But as I've shown you, I've shown you guys that, you know, it, it, the actual video, it wasn't misleading properly. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't even properly against the, um, it wasn't even against any of the community guidelines. And I stated that, you know, and it wasn't even that bad. It was a blimmin' skittles. A blimmin' Skittles promotion, but you know, what can you do? Oh, sorry, what can you do, eh? But anyway, I'm probably gonna get a strike now for showing that. <laughs> I'm gonna get off it. But that's my kind of little rant slash argument over. I hope I haven't gone over 15 minutes, because otherwise I'm screwed and this video won't be uploaded. But if you guys can share this, please do, because maybe there is some hope, at least, or something I can do, and that's all I can say. I'm gonna end it quickly, because I don't get cut off, but... Thanks guys for watching if you did stay along because it is an important video and it has got me quite upset. So I would appreciate any like comments or what you think in the comments below. So see you guys later. Bye.